this explanation of what I think human nature is. What I have is reasonable expectations for this animal called human, and why I have those expectations, or what I understand the mechanism to be. When I call you an asshole, yeah, I'm just expressing a contempt. It's an honest contempt. Yeah, I think you people will cause suffering in the world, more suffering to happen in the world. This placation of human emotions and human gluttony and human piggery is totally destructive and will essentially cause rapes and pillages and horrors to take place. I think you're totally destructive. I think you're going to cause innocent victims to be harmed. So yeah, I think of you as being Nazis or child molesters. You might as well be. You might as well just be a rapist. That's the level of contempt I have for the vile puke that you spit onto the airways. I have to sit here and waste my time having to refute silly arguments that we can't help being monkeys. That somehow, logically, we can't understand that I'm conscious, they're conscious. I don't like feeling bad, they don't like feeling bad. This isn't complex math. And of course, I should have some sort of frustration and irritation. I have to explain something that basic because assholes like you are going to try to say humans can't see that. Humans can't understand that they have to take within a, a realm of efficiency. That they can't just take something, they have to exchange for it. They have to produce value when they take value. If you're going to impose harm, you have to produce something of value to justify it. You can't create a victim unless you have a cause to justify the victim creation. This isn't complex ethics, it's dirt simple. And it just has to do with a simple ability to recognize that there's more than one stakeholder here. There's more than one thing deserving attention. And that's just pure logic. That's just Spockian logic. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. You know, I knew it when I was seven years old. I didn't need to have Spock tell it to me. It's just goddamn true. You have to do your math in the environment you exist in. You can't do it in isolation because you're not isolated. My expectation would be that if, if Tyrannosaurus has acquired intelligence first and start doing what we're doing, learning, discovering the world, you know, drinking their tea with their pinkies out, I would expect them to have conversations about these same things. I mean, should we be stupid bugs? Should we, should we behave like lizards or should we try to be better than that? They would look at their nature and say, look how we're constructed. We're constructed to be assholes. We can do better than that. I would expect them to have the conversation. I would expect intelligence, knowledge, wisdom to change their nature. For them to reject their construct that they exist in and for them to say, no, I'm going to be something better than a stupid thing with a, you know, a mouth and an ass. I'm going to be more than a walking flatworm because they're intelligent. So to tell me what human nature, I don't care what human nature is. If our nature was that we were assassin bugs, I would expect, if they acquired intelligence, for them to acknowledge it. Acknowledge what intelligence reveals. That the bug they're eating is not a lesser being than they are. And that if they can find some other way to gain their sustenance, they shouldn't do it through sticking a needle in some other thing's guts and sucking the juice out. That it's bullshit. That it's not efficient. That it's insufficiently efficient and they have to find a way of living that's more efficient or they have to turn off the car because it's not efficient enough. I would expect them to be able to do that logic. That's the implications of knowledge. That's the implications of being educated and informed, understanding. I understand you are of, of, of the Nietzschean perspective, which is I'm going to deny what knowledge teaches me and I'm going to revert back into a bug. And that's why I used it as a metaphor, because that's all you're doing. You're just saying that I don't, I don't want to fight it. I don't want to have to remake it. The game is inefficient. Yeah, make a hundred dead things or losers so one thing can say I win for one day and then die of cancer. Yes, it's all preposterously stupid. Anything rolling eggs into the volcano, fuck that asshole. Right, that's enough.